This is my everyday glowy makeup tutorial. I know you're gonna love it because it's ultra glowy, but it also makes your skin look amazing. So it doesn't look like you've got piles and piles of makeup on. Even when you come close up, it looks so good. So I can't wait for you guys to see this look because I've got some extra kind of like bonus tricks in this video and I know you're gonna love it. Now don't forget that I do have an online publication called Confessions of a Creative where we cover several different topics such as beauty, entrepreneurship, health, style, culture, and a bit of everything and I write all of the articles myself and there are two subscription offers one is free where you get access to some of the site the other is paid but it only costs you a coffee a month and you get access to the entire site you get subscriber perks and benefits you get a room where we can chat and in that room I answer questions that you guys ask over here so make sure you head over and show your support and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos and I'm on Instagram, so make sure you come and say hi there too. Now let's get into this video. As always, I don't have any makeup on. I only have my skincare on, and we're gonna get started with this everyday glowy makeup look. I'm really excited about this because I don't often do glowy looks, but when I do do it, I'm like, what? why am I not wearing this more often? Skincare is on. We're gonna get started with the first step. Now, firstly, I'm gonna be using something that I feel is a kind of really easy way to give me that glowy foundation, not foundation as in base foundation, as in like just the base layer before I even start my makeup. So I'm gonna be using my Doll 10, this corrects everything liquid filter took me a while to get that name right but i'm loving it at the moment it is in tan deep and it's a product from top dalton i absolutely love i've been like genuinely obsessed with it ever since i received it and there are a few different colors that you can get in it which are great but it kind of blurs your skin before you apply your foundation and you can actually use this as your foundation if you want to because there's a slight tint in there and somehow it just gives you a really flawless look. But it has niacinamide in there and vitamin C and it helps promote collagen production, which is great. So you know that it's actually looking right after your skin as well at the same time. Don't forget you do get a discount code, 25% off. Use the code NINA25 and the link is in my description. Head over to Doll10, grab whatever you want from them because you get 25% off with my code. Now, let's get started. You can apply this with your fingers if you want to and I usually prefer it. That way but you can use a brush as well i get one pump and then i just basically apply this same way you would do like a moisturizer and you can already see like it's it's just such a good product like i'm so excited about this look today I, I don't know i just there's a few new products that i want to try out as well so i'm excited about it so next up what we're going to be doing is actually concealing the dark circles before we go ahead with our foundation and i'm going to be using my tarte shape tape for this let's just apply a little bit over my lids i don't want crazy crazy kind of like matte finish because obviously i do want that glowy look but i do also want the coverage there so i've got my sponge just gonna buff that in you guys know i like to get the eyelids out of the way because otherwise it's just really annoying so i'm just gonna get the eyelids done and honestly the eyelids are really important for me that they are matte because i really want them to kind of like last all day so i've got my powder which is my makeup forever ultra hd powder and then my powder puff from Laura Mercier. And I'm just basically pressing the powder on top of my eyelids. This is gonna make sure that it kind of like locks it all in so that it just doesn't go anywhere. And that's my eyelids done for the day. And it's also prepped for whatever kind of eye look that I'm doing. And you just dust off the powder with a brush. There you go, eyelids are done. So you can see that that's all nicely kind of like nice and flawless there. So now what I really wanna do, I'm gonna be using cream products on my eyelids by the way, so I don't need to worry about kind of fallout. So I'm gonna do my whole like, well do some of my base first and then do my eyes after. So I've got my concealer and I'm just gonna apply it here, not too close to my under eye, as in like the lash line. Get my sponge and we're just gonna get that coverage on the under eye area. I'm kind of happy with that. Now whatever I have on my sponge, I'm just gonna kind of like take along this area here because I really want to lift that. Just on the sides of the mouth. I tend to be a little bit dark there, so that's just gonna help to lift it a bit. Okay, so I wanna sculpt my face with my concealer. You know I like to use a dark concealer for this, but I don't wanna use my, my NARS one. I'm gonna use this one because it is more of a kind of glowy concealer. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And I am just gonna put a bit there, 
Put a bit there. And then with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush, just kind of blend this here. Just buff that in. That's giving me a really nice kind of nice sculpt there. Because I still want that nice shape to my face, even with all the glow. And it's really important to really buff products into the skin with this kind of look because you really want your skin to look good you don't want it to look like there's just layers of makeup on top you want it to look like it's kind of like really kind of in your skin okay so we can go along here I always like build it up if I need more because I feel like, you know, I don't want to go crazy to begin with. I can always build it up like I am now, right? So that's that's giving that nice lift there. I think we could probably add a bit more here. Because I am going to go on sparingly with foundation. So I really want this to be able to like show through. So. That's why I'm kind of being realistic about this. I'm not just drawing all the lines on first. I really want to show you that it's okay to build up. It's okay to kind of like apply a little bit and then go in with a little bit more. Because you've probably heard me say it loads, but I don't think you've actually seen me do it because I usually get it right the first time. And today I just really wanted to kind of show you how you do it yourself, you know, not just, oh, copy this and that's it. We're going to just do little v here on the nose you know so we can get that nice kind of like small tip you can see we've got some really nice shape on the face but obviously it is looking a bit kind of like uh muddy because we don't have that veil of color on top so now we're going to go ahead and apply our foundation i'm using my nars sheer glow in barcelona and i've just got a little bit on the back of my hand and i'm going to get my sponge and i'm just going to literally buff in the foundation all over but i am applying the smallest amount because i really do want my skin to kind of still look like skin so i really want the concealer to really do the job when it comes to the coverage and the foundation to kind of like give it a veil of color just tie everything together Another great thing about doing your base first when you are wearing a kind of glowy look like this is that it gives your base time to kind of like settle down and just kind of let that glow come through while you're doing your eye makeup. Because if you were to just do your eye makeup and then go ahead and do your base, your base needs at least an hour or so, depending on your skin type, for the natural oils to come through for it to look a bit more settled down. So this way you can really see that it's settled down by the time you finished your eye makeup up now that we've applied the foundation everywhere you can see and i applied the smallest amount guys honestly the smallest smallest amount just enough for it to kind of give me a nice veil of color i'm not really interested in the coverage from the foundation because we've got the coverage from the concealer now i really like the glow that this is giving so i kind of want to keep that but what i want to do is make sure that obviously i don't get creases later in the day and that it does actually stay on all day so what we're going to do is mattify it a little bit because we need to lock all of this in and then we're going to actually bring that glow back over time so you'll see once i finish the entire look the glow would have come back but we are also going to kind of apply something which is help going to help us kind of like cheat our way to that glow as well now i want to get my powder here and i want to get my powder puff and i'm going to start pressing it on certain areas not everywhere but just the areas which i know i definitely don't want to see any creasing later so that is my under eye area we've just got rid of any creases that were there and we're gonna really make sure this area is nice and kind of like set now what we're gonna do is dust this away immediately because we don't need it to bake or anything we're just gonna get rid of it and that's gonna give us enough kind of like setting power but without it looking cakey there you go immediately brush it off now the next area is going to be this area here i really don't want this going anywhere and it's also going to help to just kind of really keep that area kind of like set now as i'm brushing it off i'm brushing it upwards as well because that's going to just set that cheek area for me without having to apply a whole load of powder 
Now the next area is going to be this area here. I really don't like that to be shiny. And then I dust it off and I'm kind of going over the whole face. So whatever's left there will help to set the other areas. Now this looks matte at the moment, but the glow is going to come back. Trust me. While that is getting to work, we are going to do the brows. I am just going to apply some of this because I really want my brows to stay in place. This is my Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. I like to just press it after I've applied it so that it kind of flattens my brow. Now, while they are drying, I'm gonna very quickly do my nose. This is just a quick nose contour. So my Fenty 200 brush, my Fenty Sunstalker in Shady Biz. And I'm just gonna slim down my nose. You're kind of going over where I contoured already just to kind of make it a little bit kind of more obvious. Now I'm going in with my Doll 10 Doll Pro Infinite Eye Color and this one is in Gratitude and I'm just getting a brush. You can get any brush. I don't even know what this is. This is the BK Beauty 204 brush and I'm basically like adding a bit of that color there and then I'm going to do a little line here. I used to draw it with this, but I find I much prefer it this way because it's easier to kind of blend. And then just down this bit here. There you go, I like that. I think we're ready to do the brows. So I've got my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in 3.5. And I am just going to start shading in my brows. I usually like to kind of like just shape them first. Which is what I'm going to do here. Okay, we're going to draw some kind of like hair strokes in there. So I'm using my Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen and Baby Brown. Now that we've done that, we're going to move on to the eyes. And this is a really, really easy way to make your eyes look kind of glowy. So I'm using the Doll 10 Doll Pro Infinite Eye Color. And this is in Bravery. And this is like a shimmery kind of pink. And we're basically going to put this all over the lid, just not the end. So make sure you really cover that lash line, by the way. Don't go above the crease because we can do that in a sec. I'm using the Refa, don't know again if you pronounce it that way, but it's the 13 brush. Nothing on here. And I'm just kind of like dragging this color just kind of into the crease so that it doesn't look like it's totally kind of cut off. There you go. That is a really pretty pink. Do the same here to cover the lid all the way up to the middle. Make sure you really get that color on that lash line because it really shows on the lash line when you're blinking and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and apply more on the lash line here. There you go, that doesn't even need blending there. Now I'm also going to apply it on my lower lash line in the same part so beginning to middle and then go in with this brush and just to kind of make sure there's no harsh edges back and forth it's a really easy look to do then we're going to go in with the shade hope and I'm going to apply this just on the end of my kind of couldn't I couldn't find the word there using the same brush I'm just going to kind of drag this and make sure it's not like just not looking like it's just blocky at the end i just don't want it to look like it's just like half and half you know so you really want to make sure you blend it in but it's really quick blending to be fair like there's not really a lot that you need to do we're going to now go with the shade confidence and i'm basically going to apply this along the end of the lash line just like a thick amount there. You can see that. You can use the same brush. And now we're gonna just drag this so that it's kind of like a wing, but it's blending into that kind of, that hope shade. Use your finger if you want to, to just kind of like press it or drag it out. You can add more if you want.
Okay, now I'm gonna use the shade Serenity. This is a much deeper brown. It's like very kind of very deep brown. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but make that line a bit thicker. I mean thinner, sorry. And then I've got a smaller brush, which is my Charlotte Tilbury smudge brush. It's just giving me more kind of definition. Okay, now go just there. So even though we've used like a couple of different shades, which by the way, you could just stop it wherever you wanted to stop it if you wanted to. I feel like it's still kind of like an everyday look because it's not kind of like super heavy. It's still very, they're very light colors. It's just like the techniques that you're using to like layer on those different shades. Now I want to apply my mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And I can already tell my skin is starting to kind of like look a bit more glowy. Now, depending on what kind of look you want, like everyone has a different version of their everyday look, right? So you could apply less mascara, use a lighter mascara so it's not so heavy. You could apply less eye makeup if you want to. I'm quite happy with this because this is still something that's glowy, but it's still something I would go out during the day in. Like it's an everyday, I could still do this every day. I'm gonna use a different mascara on my lower lashes just because I feel like this sits better on my lower lashes. Now let's add a little bit more of a sculpt kind of like look to my face. And I'm gonna use my It's Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer in Beach because it has a very slight kind of shimmer in here. So it's not like super matte. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's add a little bit more glow to this now. So I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter in six. And I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. So I've got a whole load there. I'm going to get a sponge. You can get any sponge. And I'm going to dab this on like my cheekbones here. Oh, that's so nice. I really like that glow. Just any other areas you want it. Now I'm gonna use this confidence pencil and I'm just gonna actually shape my lips a little bit with it. So I'm gonna show you what I do. This is my E57 brush. I'm gonna get some of this color on this brush, take most of it off on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna actually shade my lip line. I actually really love this way and doing lips because it's super natural looking. So you're basically focusing on kind of like going on the actual lip line. So I really like doing my lips this way because I feel like it just looks way more natural. Like it's, and you make, give them that naturally plump look without it actually looking like you've got a lip line on because you actually don't have lip line on. So what we're doing, remember, go like that, take all the excess off on your hand and then you're gonna focus on going on your lip line you can actually manipulate the shape of your lips as well this way. So you could go over, like I go over a little bit in the center to give them that really nice kind of lifted look there. And then we're gonna do the lower lip. See how that has lined the lips and you haven't even put any lip liner on? I love this. Nice little trick there for you guys. Let's use the Doll 10 Doll Skin Genius Multitasker Stick. And this is in Breathe. And I am just gonna like literally draw my lip. Draw my lip, just fill it in. And you can put a gloss on top. You can put a lip balm on top, whatever you want. I'm using my Rode peptide lip tint and this is in jelly bean because it's my new favorite and I absolutely love it. So your lips don't look like overly drawn in. It looks so good. How are we liking this glowy look? I absolutely love it. It's definitely something that I would recommend you guys try out because I think you're going to love it and 
yeah, I think this is a great everyday look because I feel like you can still wear this to work. You could still wear this kind of like, if you have a day event, if you have like, you're going for a lunch date or something, you just look glowy, fresh, but you also look flawless. And it's something that I love because there's nothing overly obvious about it like there's no harsh lines on the eyes everything's very soft very kind of like into the skin even like the lips no lip liner and they still look plump they still look like they're shaped nicely so i think you guys are going to love this i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope it's something you're going to try and especially some of these products that i've used because some of them are just amazing and i'm sending you loads of good vibes wherever you are in the world and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and I'll see you soon.